Okay. So, you're going to notice that my tone's a little bit harder than normal, but that's because for this one, for this one it needs to be. There are times in your life where everything just keeps going wrong, and everything's on fire, and then the fire catches on fire. And just when you think it can't get any worse, it does. It gets a lot worse. And then, even worse than that. Now, what are you supposed to do when life is just throwing punch after punch after punch? Do you lie down? Do you wait? Do you hope it gets better? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, because everybody's different, and there's no one-size solution. But here's what I can say, without any doubt, to you. There's a theory called the hedonistic or hedonistic treadmill. Basically, life's like a treadmill, and when it first changes speed, it feels totally different. When it goes faster, it feels like we can't keep up. When it goes slower, it feels like we're being catapulted forward. But after a little while, just not very long at all, that speed feels normal. It's just how we're built. Just you, me, and all your ancestors and all mine every single last person we're built to adjust and to say this is the new normal what next now i understand that that's a lot of preamble before i get into the baby girls and the good girls and you can do it but i needed to try and frame just how normal it is just how human and shared of an experience it is for you to look around at your life and say, I don't feel like it can get any better than this, so why should I try? Because we are literally programmed for that center to say this is normal and I don't feel good, so not feeling good is normal, and I'm just going to accept it. And honestly, little secret here, nobody's really going to blame you, you know? If you keep your head down and you don't complain and you, <laughs> you don't stink, you wash your clothes. If you don't do anything offensive, if you don't do anything that makes somebody else spend their mental resources on you, That'll be fine. You can go through life that way, and people will just let you. Even loved ones, because at the end of the day, you can't save anyone. Everyone has to save themselves. So, why, why now? Why am I saying it to you now? The short answer is because I've been thinking a lot about it. Things work out and don't work out for me, just like they don't for you. And I realized there's a list of things that when I didn't have the toolbox that I have now, I wish somebody had said to me. So this is deeply personal and is coming from my heart to you. It is okay to feel defeated. It is okay to have lost something that the rest of the world does not see as significant and grieve over it. It's okay to grieve for any loss, for any reason. It's okay to put too many emotions into something and then have that thing not work out. 
And yes, you absolutely do have it better than lots of people, lots of places, but it's totally okay for you to be a little bit selfish about that and say, but these are my feelings and this is my life and I'm a little bit sad or a lot sad or anything in between, but this isn't about depression. That's a long talk and I've said what I have to say there. This, this is about recognizing that every single day that you go through has loss. To quote the Buddhists, life is suffering. To be alive is to feel some pain. But sometimes through setbacks, through mistakes, through simple misfortune that we had no hand in, we can get trapped in this idea that we're just going to be who we are for the rest of our lives and we're not going to feel any better than this. But it's not true. That's the treadmill. That's the treadmill setting that you're on. And again, it is shocking how quickly we adjust. You may feel like you felt this way forever right now, but when the treadmill changes speed, I think you'll realize you didn't feel that way for all that long at all. Or maybe you have. I have. I've been in situations where I felt awful for very, very long stretches of time. But it can change if you want to change it. And there's no easy answer. But that's why I'm saying it to you now, baby girl. You can feel better about yourself. And you should. You should look within and see the parts of you that are good. The parts of you that are deserving of respect and dignity and love. Even though, even though, each and every time you put that assumption out into the world, it's going to be challenged. So why bother? Why risk it? Why not just try and be hurt the least instead of trying to be the happiest, knowing that you're going to get hit? I can't answer that question for you. I know that you have it because I have it sometimes too. We all do. But what I can tell you is that it's worth it. That you're worth it. You are worth happiness and the struggle for it. It's a struggle, absolutely. But you're worth it. I want you to really try and let these words sink in. You are worthy of love respect, dignity. You deserve peace when you try hard at the end of the day. You deserve to be heard when you speak. And you deserve for your words to have weight if they have merit. You deserve second chances and you probably deserve third chances as well. And if you don't, if you look into your heart and say, I don't deserve those chances, you can always make more of them. You can always make more tomorrow by just trying to be a little bit more patient with yourself today. You deserve the world to treat you like you wish it would treat the person you love the most. But it all just it all comes out of how you treat yourself. That is the one thing you have control over. They say attitude and they say mindset because those are easier things to say than the simple 
magical power that we have within us. It's not something that changes tomorrow. It's not something that changes this year. And unlike a lot of things that you can change, this one actually doesn't get easier. This is actually a daily fight. That's why I'm trying my very, very hardest to put just a little bit of that heat, that energy, that love inside you. Because we all need a little help with that from time to time. We all do. I have and I will. And I've been luckier than most on that particular front, and I know it. So please, 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 baby girl, look within and say, this is a beautiful person. This is someone who's going to try again. And I don't care if you start trying again today or tomorrow, or it's just a faint flicker of a promise of one day because I believe in you. So, I know that this wasn't the easiest talk, and I know that this wasn't the most comforting tone, and I just hope, 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 that in some way it was useful for you. You deserve better. And as soon as you start showing it to the world, it will get challenged. But if you rise to enough challenges, you will be treated better. And that's why, baby girl, I believe in you.